Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to show everyone how to perform the expansion navy function. Before we start, we need to prepare the environment for the demonstration. The most important concept for remembering is to maintain magnetic hygiene. It means that we have to keep the metal objects away from our targets, such as our phantom. It is better to lift the phantom 30 cm away from the table if the table is made of the metal, like this. Then we can start our demonstration procedure. Firstly, we need to choose the right probe for performing this function. So let's choose the right probe. For turning the function on, just simply click Special Navy on the touch screen. Then choose the right needle on the screen for puncturing. The gold standard for selecting the correct needle is to based on the brand name and the reference number, which is, can be seen on our needle package over here. Once you have selected the right needle, we need to magnetize the needle. For our sterilization solution, we would put a small needle cap into our magnetizer. and insert the selected needle into the magnetizer. The recommended size of sterile needle cap is 3.5 cm to 4.5 cm in length and the diameter is less than 7 mm. This is a good example. How to correctly magnetize the needle? We need to use one motion method. It simply just put our needle in and pull it out from the magnetizer. The entire magnetization process only takes us one to two seconds. Try not to repeat this movement like this. Otherwise, there will be more than one generated magnetic field. And during the procedure, our transducer cannot distinguish which magnetic field should be tracked with. Once the magnetic step has done, it is better to put our magnetizer away from the probe. It is best to keep one meter away. After this step, we move on to the calibration step. It is important to perform it because it helps the transducer to recognize the earth magnetic field as a reference and filter out any magnetic contamination. For calibration, we just simply click the calibration button on the screen and hold our probe firmly, wait for a few seconds. Once the process has been done, we can see the signal turns green on the machine. Then we can start our demonstration. I will show the output plan puncturing first because it has the most clinical value for this technology. When we are approaching the needle to our transducer, we need to apply one motion method. Try not to move the needle around the transducer. Otherwise, multiple magnetic fields would be created again and cause error during the procedure. So we just put some gel on the phantom first. Now on the screen, try to find 
then a target. Use one motion approach method. Okay, we gently prick the needle tip on the superficial layer of our phantom. Then we can adjust our needle up and down for changing the depth, the right and the left for changing the angle. So once we put the target box on the target, which is the cyst, then we can start push our needle forward. So when the target box turns blue, which means our needle has already reached our ultrasound plane. So everyone can see the white dot within the cyst, which is our needle tip. So let me push forward a little bit more. And this stage, the target box turns orange. It means our needle has already crossed with our ultrasound plane. On the ultrasound machine, there is an indicator over here. It shows the relationship between the needle tip and our ultrasound plane. So over here, the white dot actually means the part of our needle body rather than our needle tip. Okay. Let's move on to the implant position. It is the same as our out of plane puncture. We also apply one motion method for approaching. So on the screen, we try to find a target. Then use one motion method. Gently prick the needle tip into our phantom. Then you can see an extended blue dot line, which is our trajectory line. We can adjust the needle up and down for changing the direction of our trajectory line. Once our target is set, we can try to push the needle in. Okay, so for the whole process, we can see our needle very well. During the position, if the signal turns red, we just simply hold the probe up and wait for a few seconds. Then you will see the strong signal show up again. That's all for the demonstration. Hopefully it's helpful. Thank you.